Today we're going to talk about refracting telescopes, which is some of the earliest designs for telescopes ever made. Within these come to Galilean telescopes in 1609 and Keplerian telescopes in 1611. So both of these telescopes consist of one objective, which is a large lens that is used to collect light coming from different places and an eyepiece, which is a smaller lens used to magnify the image for the eyes. So the Galilean telescope uses one convex lens that focuses light as the objective and one concave lens which is smaller and diverges light. And the Keplerian uses two convex lenses both which focus light. Now we're going to see how these, how these designs pan out in real life. So for that we're going to use a convex lens that focuses light to a point and a concave lens that diverges light away from it. Now we're going to try out the Galilean telescope in which you've got one large convex lens and a smaller concave lens to magnify the image. And the distance between these two is going to be the focal length of the convex lens minus the focal length of the concave lens. So as you can see, there's some magnification happening. It isn't as much as you'd want it to be. And there's a lot of bending happening at the edges, which can cause a lot of error when you're trying to view something. Now we're going to try out the Keplerian design which uses two convex lenses, one big and one smaller one. And the distance between these two is going to be the focal length of these two added together. So as you can see there's a lot of magnification and the error is far more controlled. But the field of view is extremely narrow. Most modern telescopes use a reflecting design with mirrors instead of lenses as less light is wasted and there's less error around the edges.